All right, let's look at question six. The length of 120 fishes in a school pond were measured and you have a cumulative frequency curve. So right now we want to see uh, if you can use the curve to estimate the median length. So if it's a total of 120 fishes, the median will just be at 60, right? That's half, 60. And so we look closely and we go and find where we are. And we go all the way down. Right, and we see that, okay, at the 60 mark, it is at about 31, it's about there, right? it's about 31 uh, cm, so we write that down. All right, and now we want to find the interquartile range, which is basically the upper quartile subtracting the lower quartile, right? Upper quartile subtract the lower quartile. And right now, we want to find our upper quartiles and our lower quartiles. And so, um, basically, we see that this is our, at the at 60th mark, is our 50th percentile. It splits our all 120 data points. It splits into two, right? And the middle point here will be my lower quartile. And the middle point here will be my upper quartile. So, of course, once again, 60 is the 50% and my 100% will be all 120 of it. So I first need to find where is my 25th percent. And so I find that of, of all my 120, I find that it's 30. That means over here, that is my lower, I will find my lower quartile. Of course it's not, it's not 30 itself. I need to, it's at the 30th, at the 30th um, fish, in this case, the length of 120 fishes at the 30th percentile, where is it? 26, 26 cm. And then I want to find my upper quartile, which is 75% of all 120 fishes. I get 90. That means over here is my upper quartile. And so we take 90 and we just go. And we're going to find at the 90th fish in that sense, Where am I? What length? And we see that it is 36. So my upper quartile is basically 36. And my lower quartile is basically 26. So this is basically just going to give 36 minus 26, which is 10. And now let's look at the percentage of fishes, which are at least 35 cm in length. So we come back here and we try to find um, 35 cm and more. And so let's see, 35 cm, so let's see where that takes us. All the way here, okay. And so it looks like it's going to give me, um, yeah, in the middle here, it looks like it's going to give me 89. Right, in the middle of a square. And so, um, yes, so basically how many fishes is it? It's basically from 120 minus 89, this amount, which is basically this amount, right? That's the number of fishes that is above 35, which is represented by this whole line. And so, um, basically, the, num the number of fishes above 35 is this, which is 31. And the percentage of fishes that are at least 35 cm in length is basically this number. And to find a percentage of it, you divide it um, by the total number of fishes, and you multiply by 100, you get 27.5%. So basically what we did is we, we take a look here, 35 fishes, we see how many fishes are we at? We're at 89. That means 89 onwards, 89 onwards will give me greater than 35 cm in length. And from 89 all the way to 120, how many fishes are there? I subtract and I see there's 31. So 31 fishes are at least 
35 cm in length, represent it as a percentage of the total number of fishes. And that's what you get. All right. It was discovered that the lengths were measured incorrectly. Okay. The correct length should be 2 cm longer. So everyone, all the fishes should be 2 cm longer. How would the median interquartile range of the lengths be affected? So first, let's just think about it using, using the curve, right? Currently, the curve looks something like that. And if all the correct lengths should be 2 cm longer, it should be 2 cm longer. That means the actual graph, right, if everyone is 2 cm longer, so this guy here should be 2 cm longer, this one should be 2 cm longer, everyone should be 2 cm longer, so your actual curve should actually be to the right, right? And this difference should be 2 cm. And this is your actual, actual curve. And this is your, uh, um, it's the wrong curve. It's the one that results in everybody being 2 cm less. Right, once again, this is length in cm. And this is a cumulative frequency. Yeah, and so how does that affect, that affect the median? So your actual median should be here. Right? But your but your median that you managed to calculate is actually also two CM less because everyone moved two CM uh less, right? Due to the error. So basically you would say that the actual median should be two CM more. And then interquartile range. Actually, interquartile range, you can see there's no change because over here, your upper quartile and your lower quartile, sure, both of them will increase by 2 cm. But so as a result, the, the interquartile range has no change because both your upper quartile and your lower quartile also increase by 2 cm. So interquartile range has no change. There you go.